Welcome to the podcast. This week we want to show you how to install LiquidTube for the techs in your store, how they can do it. Now, obviously this bucket is empty, but it's all about the technique involved in it, okay? The first thing that you're going to do is we have the tire chart, and I want you to look in your tire chart for the size. So this is an off-road tire, or this is actually an on-road tire, uh, so it's a... Um, trailer tire so it is a 12 inch tire so we'll go back here 4.812 means you need 10 ounces at high speed for this on a trailer tire so it'll balance it okay doesn't sound like a lot but it'll thin out and it'll coat that all right so that particular tire we need 10 ounces now when you start your installation the first thing you're going to have is a bucket on that bucket will be a gray top up here that covers the Ricky fitting. You will unscrew that. Once you take that off, you'll pop the Ricky fitting plastic lid and then you'll insert your 10 ounce pump down into the bucket. And it'll go all the way to the bottom. And it has a V on the bottom of it so it will suck all of the product out of here and you won't have anything, so you don't have to worry about tipping or anything, so all of the product will eventually go out of here on an install. All right, so we know that this tire at high speed calls for 10 ounces. Now, let's say that was a low speed tractor tire, same size, that's on the inside of this, and uh, I looked it up just a few minutes ago, and it actually calls for 21 ounces. The reason is, is on the highway we want to meet the standard that would cause a balance, the tire to balance, and uh, off-road off you usually get more flats from punctures and stuff from stubble and thorns and things like that, so more goes in it. So that particular one at the 12 inch actually is a 4.80 in a 12, 12 inch off-road is 21 ounces instead of 10. But we're going to do the 10 because this is going to be a trailer tire, all right? So the way you'll get started is you'll notice we have the valve stem uh, remover here. You have a large bore and a small bore. The small bore we will use there. If I had a knife I'd take that off of there but I don't. So we would take that and we would undo the valve stem core and we would take it out. Now as long as that tire has less than 50 psi in it you won't have to let the air out. You're just going to take the valve stem core out and put your thumb over it. You're going to take this off the side of your bucket. It's our coupler. It's in an off position, and you will clamp on, move your thumb, and clamp on. And once you clamp on, no more air will come out of that tire. All right, we've already got this pulled up. We've got 10 ounces already pulled up into this. Then you would open the valve, and you would slowly push that into the tire. Notice the valve stem is up at the top. Anywhere between 9 and 3 o'clock uh, is the best position to put this in so it doesn't build a puddle at the bottom that would clog your valve stem. All right, we've got our 10 ounces in there. Now we're going to shut the valve ball. We're going to take and remove the clamp and immediately put our thumb back over it so no more air will come out of the tire. We'll take our valve stem core remover that's still attached here, but it wouldn't be, and we will take the valve stem core, put it on the end of it, move our thumb, run it back into the tire, and then continue to air the tire up if we lost a few PSI back to the air pressure it should be, okay? Then that tire is done. You can put the cap back on it. It'll stay in a puddle at the bottom until the first time this tire is used going down the road uh, and then with, within the first probably 100 feet, 200 feet, it'll coat the tire and it will stay coated for the rest of the life of the tire, keeping it from uh, going out of balance and also keeping it from having flats uh, wherever you're going with the with your tire whether it's off-road or whether it's on-road but mostly transporting this would be for transporting your mowers and things okay on your trailer tire now this we would put back in here and just leave it here until the next tire in the off position let's say we actually had put 15 ounces so that second stroke that would have went in there would have been 24 20 ounces by pulling the second stroke up and we needed 15 and we went down to the 15 the, between the 4 and the 6 and then we unpopped it and uh, and put the valve stem core back in 
and brought it over here, we've still got this much left in the barrel. So we're going to open the valve. This does not have a, a, a valve stem in it, so it's a clear opening back through that valve to push the rest back into the bucket, then turn it off and leave it there until your next project. And that's all you have to do.